What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we wanna play around with our FizzBuzz and add some extended functionality. All right, in the last video we created FizzBuzz, in this video we wanna extend it a little bit, add some more features, play around with it, and just have a little bit of fun with it. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we ended the last video with our FizzBuzz. And if we just run this real quick, we see it prints out from one to a hundred. If a number is divisible by three, it prints out fizz. If it's divisible by five, it prints out buzz. If it's divisible by both three and five, it prints out fizz buzz. Okay, great. So you're in your interview, it's going pretty good. You crank that out. They're very impressed how quickly you did it. And they're like, well, that was a little too easy. Let's throw a couple more uh, function feature requests out there. Let's say we want to count how many times there was a fizz, how many times there was a buzz, how many times there was a fizz buzz, and we wanna print that out onto the screen at the end so we have a little report that shows just how many times it happened. So how would you do that? Well, think about it, pretty simple. We just need to create some counters. So every time we have a fizz or a buzz, we just need a counter to increment. And we already know how to do counters, super, super easy. Shouldn't be a problem for us whatsoever. So let's just define our counters and let's go fizz, count equals zero, buzz count equals zero, and fizz buzz count equals zero. And we wanna start out all at zero. We want this to be number, so we're just gonna go ahead and create them just like that right off the bat. So then all we have to do is come down to each of our if statements and just increment our counter if this thing has happened. So let's see, this is fizz buzz. So we would just go fizz buzz count plus equals one, right? Okay, and then we would just go down here and do the same thing for fizz. So fizz count plus equals one. And let's put some spaces here just to start to break this apart. Uh, let's see, here we have buzz count plus equal one. And you notice sometimes I put spaces, sometimes I don't. I usually tend to put spaces between my things just because it's easier to read, but with Python, it really doesn't matter whether or not you do that. So just sort of up to you. You always wanna make it as readable as possible though. Um, yeah, so I think that's that. So let's just go down here, below here, and let's just print out, I don't know, like a little line. And then let's go print. Now, how do we want to do this? Well, let's start out by printing. Let's make it, let's do, let's just be fancy. <laughs> uh, let's put some tabs and some columns and some column heads and things like that. So let's start out. We want uh, fizz. Let's capitalize fizz. Yeah. And now we want to tab over. And so to do that, we just use our escape character and then T. I don't think we've looked at that before, but that's how you tab. Uh, just uh, backslash T. Now we want buzz, backslash T, and then finally fizz buzz, right? So that looks good. Now we want to print out the actual counts, right? So we would go, let's say, what do we got first? Fizz, so fizz count. Now we need this to be a string because we're gonna tab and the tab to tab, well, do we have to, yeah, we can't just tab like that. We have to tab inside quotation marks, which means we have to concatenate and which means we have to then turn this into a string, which is no big deal, we can do that. Okay, so that, now we wanna concatenate again and then we want buzz count we want to concatenate again, but first we need to turn this into a string. So let's do that. Okay, now another tab. 
another concatenation, another string, and then finally we want fizz buzz count. That look good? Looking awfully complicated, but I think we got it. So let's save this and run it. I probably screwed this up, but <laughs> we will see. All right, so let's run this. Boom, fizz buzz. So between one and 100, fizz occurs 27 times, buzz occurs 14 times, and fizz buzz occurs six times. Pretty cool. Very, very simple, very easy. Let me just put this little line here to make it sort of uh, easier to differentiate between the fizz buzzing. So, okay, that's kind of cool, pretty simple. And now what if we want between one and a thousand instead of one and a hundred? Well, let's just come up here and type in thousand, save that. And now we're getting into some fun stuff because remember it was 27, 14 and six for our fizz buzzes with a hundred. Is that just gonna be times 10? Is it gonna be 270, 140, and 60? Let's see. No, it is. Let's see. So what, what were the numbers again? I've forgotten. <laughs> My memory is terrible. Oh, it, I think it was 270. Yeah, let's, let's change that back to 100 and see. I've lost track already. All right, so let's run it again. So yeah, 27, 14, and six. So now let's go back here and change this to a thousand, save it. 27, 14, and six. Let's remember that. 27, 14, and six, just keep saying it. 27, 14, and six. 27, 14, and six. So it should be 270, 140, and 60, but it's not, it's 267. That's interesting. I don't know why that is. That doesn't make sense to me, but okay. <laughs> So that's cool. Now we can do between one and a million. I mean, we can do whatever we want here. So let's just play around, let's get crazy. So we have a thousand. If we go one, two, three, add some more threes. We save this and run it. We're gonna take a while. 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, halfway to six, 700,000, 800,000, 900,000, and a million. So in a million, we have 26, 266,000. Now, this is starting to get a little bit wonky here, right? It's kind of hard to read these. We need some commas. So how do we add commas? Well, there's a, a notation you can use. It's pretty simple. And to do that, we just come up here in our string count, and then I'm just gonna paste this in here like this. Oops, there we go. So what we're doing here is quotation marks and then this weird notation. And colon says, make this into a separator, the thing that's after the colon. In our case, it's this comma, right? And then we're gonna dot format this. So we can do the same thing here. And we need to wrap this, that, and one more time, boom, wrap it, wrap it. All right, so let's save this and run it one more time. And if that was kind of hard to read, let me just put it on another line here. Variable. So this is the formatting. We're gonna use the dot format function variable, there we go. And we're gonna pass in our variable, in our case it's fizz count, buzz count, and fizz buzz count. And we're gonna dot format it. And how we dot format it is with a separator of a comma. It's pretty simple. So save this and let's run it one more time. And cycle 100, 200, 300, <laughs> takes a little while. 500, 600, 700. As you start using math at higher numbers, you need more compute, computing power. Okay, so now we have this nice 266,667, uh, 133,334, and 66,666. That seems a little dark. 666, 666, six. Uh, and, and so things are starting to get a little close, so we could use two tabs if we wanted to. I won't run this again, but you would just go bang, bang, like that. Uh, bang, 
bang, and then you would need to do the same thing down here. Boom, boom. And then, I mean, who am I kidding? I'm absolutely gonna run this again. Save it. <laughs> run it one more time. 100, 200, 300. Or you can speed this up using different math functions and modules and things. We might look at those later on. Okay, so now we got some more space here. Fizz, buzz, fizz, buzz. Pretty cool. So we're basically just messing around with this episode or this video. Uh, but it's kind of fun to play with this stuff and add some more functionality and think things through a little bit more. And so that's cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.